Or perhaps he never even thought about concealing his whereabouts. Maybe that's just how arrogant he really is. Yep, we're headed in the right direction. Hmm, the traces are still fresh, but there's no sign of his entourage. Clearly they're in a hurry. Hmm, it's just as I thought. We can stop here. I think I know where the doctor went. To the south of here is Port Ormos, which seems to be where they're headed. Port Ormos? They're going to leave by boat? That's right. Let's go to the port and have a look for ourselves. Draw their attention. The port is crawling with Fatui soldiers. Let's keep going and see what we can find. Now this is a proper farewell ceremony for a Snezhnaian Harbinger. The Lord Harbinger is leaving. <sighs> I've still only seen him once or twice. I used to hold a position in our homeland, and back then, the doctor spoke in a very different way from the way he speaks now. Maybe the way people talk in Sumeru has rubbed off on him? It's always like that when you spend too long away from home. When he gets back to Snezhnaya, perhaps it will also take him some time to get used to the life there again. Huh? But, sir, that... that can't be right. No, no, I remember it like it was yesterday. Both his expressions and tones are now very different. Also, for some reason, he seems like he's all smiles now. You must be mistaken. Nobody's supposed to look happy when they're on a business trip. The doctor is on that boat. <laughs> So he told the truth after all. He is actually leaving Sumeru. Let's get closer and find a place to hide so we can observe him. This place will do. We can hide here while we keep an eye on the boat. Waving at us? It's time to say goodbye. Wait, is he the only person on the boat? Huh? You mean there's nobody with him? And where are all the soldiers we saw on the port just now? They were all here just a few minutes ago, but now they vanished. <sighs> so this was a trap. Wait, don't tell me that. Luckily, there is still some time left for me to take care of everything before I leave. Oh no. They might be after Hapasia. Let's get back to Party's DI. Huh? What do you mean? I'm afraid that she's seen something that she wasn't supposed to see. If I were the Fatui, I would also try to take her away. And if I couldn't... Oh no! 
Are you saying they're going to kill her? Let's go. Pardis Di is not a place you Fatui can just show up and do as you please. I believe we've already made ourselves quite clear. Our superior gave us permission to search for and collect medicinal herbs in Pardis Di for research purposes. But you've been in Sumeru for some time already. I find it coincidental that you chose to only come here today. Even the Grand Sage himself may not have the right to question our research, much less an ordinary scholar like yourself. I've done my duty to inform you. Don't make things difficult for yourself. It would seem that my words have fallen on deaf ears. You can keep trying to deny it, but coming to Parties DI now? I'm pretty sure you're not just looking for herbs. With all due respect, your baseless speculations will only lead to unnecessary trouble. Well, you only have your Harbinger to blame. He knows nothing about keeping a low profile. I may be staying at Parties DI as a scholar, but that doesn't mean I'm no longer a forest watcher. It is still my duty to protect the peace and safety of the scholars who have contributed so much to Sumeru. Then it seems our conversation has hit an impasse. No one will lay a hand on you, Hapasia. Not on my watch! Tainari! Are you alright? I'm fine. These Fatui have really crossed the line. Time to teach them a lesson. Too much. Yep. Yeah. Take cover. Yeah. This was well done. This is trouble. Yeah. Yeah. This was well done. Let the show begin. Resisting! Give us Hapasia! Keep dreaming! Yeah, Tainari! Beat him up! Let's end this quickly! 
way. Doctor's orders are absolute. Yeah? You've been someone's lapdog for so long that you don't know anything else now. Dodge this. <laughs> don't push your luck. Stay right there. <laughs> Push your luck. This is bad. Ah! Ah! Don't push your 
Just your luck. This isn't good. Let's dance. Getting anywhere. Traveler, Paimon, please go to Hypatia. We need to make sure they don't try to sneak around and attack from behind. Got it! <sighs> Hypatia's still here. Doesn't look like anyone's broken in. Good. So, you think this is over? What? The ballet deer is here? I've missed that look of abject horror. You've given me that look every time we meet. But, uh, where is he? I can hear all of your thoughts, you know. Don't you remember? I already saw you the first time you came to Pardis Di and made contact with Hypatia. I didn't need to do anything. It is her honor to be able to connect her consciousness with me. Uh, who are you talking to? It can't be the Balladeer, right? <laughs> That's impossible! I know you must be curious. I might as well tell you that I decided to enter Hapasia's consciousness the moment I sensed your touch. I wanted to observe you on a fool's errand. Uh, hey! Traveler! What are you doing? My deification is nearly complete. All that's left now are just some final details. Do you understand? Even if you manage to rescue Lesser Lord Kusanali, it will be impossible for you to defeat a bona fide god like me. Is it wise to force that childlike god into a divine battle against me? Scholars consider the god of wisdom to be the sum total of their faith. It's how they can justify reverence for a god as they construct it. But this also shows that humanity's worship of gods is a combination of blasphemy and exaltation. It's truly laughable. Yes. What is it? Yeah, I'm in a good mood. Which is why I'm talking to you like this. What do you mean?
<laughs> Those words almost make you sound like a friend who actually cares. But you're wrong. I'm different from all of you. I was born to become a god. My entire life up until this point has just been a meaningless routine. Just think about a sheet of paper. By itself, it holds no meaning. The content recorded on it is what gives it value. All I had recorded down before were some painful memories and boring human feelings. Such senseless drivel should have been erased a long time ago. Indeed, to me, the sight of you fools in your futile struggles is far more amusing. Tell me, just what has this world done for you to protect it with such zest and conviction? I'm connected to your consciousness, so I can hear what you're thinking and sense the depth of your determination. This is a good conversation we're having. So here's a word of advice. Let go of your misguided guardian complex. You know nothing about the truth. It'll be for your own good, as well as everyone else's. Humans are a species that can only find bliss in ignorance. Ah, you've seen my affection for her. If you were in my position, I think you'd feel the same way. She peered into my consciousness and saw my past. Someone like that is qualified to become my first follower. All gods need followers. So Hapasia has been chosen. Her appearance heralds my imminent arrival at the throne of divinity, while her worship shall become my glory. You're doubting me again? No matter. Soon, you'll know what kind of authority you're challenging. Who wants to hurt my devout follower? The doctor wants to hurt my first follower? <laughs> How very amusing. Has anyone ever told you that you're not good at sowing discord? The doctor has never known his place. Even now, the puny human thinks himself capable of interfering in the business of the new god. You're still too naive if you think a few words will be enough to convince me to destroy the doctor. But I'm willing to give you a gift, just like my expression of affection towards Hapasia. It is an honor for you to be able to stand here and speak with me. As my listener, you will be rewarded. Both good things and bad things can be called gifts. After all, gods have never needed to be reasonable. Ah! Paimon, you're thunder! That person Paimon couldn't see was the Paladier? Oh, he sure chatted with you for a while. Uh, where is the storm headed? That means anyone outside is in danger! Let's go! Tainari and Dia still must be fighting! He's hurt. I'm fine. <sighs> Don't move. I've seen Eremites get struck by lightning before. You need to rest. Struck by lightning? We were fighting, and just as things started looking grim, the weather suddenly became extremely strange. Lightning started attacking everyone, almost as if it were alive. Luckily, there were only two of us, and both of us were nimble enough to dodge most of the strikes. There were a lot of Fatui, though, and they were being torn to shreds by the bolts of lightning. With that, 
all the Fatui soldiers were forced to retreat. Why are you sorry? <sighs> it's all right. I'm sure you also never expected this to happen. Don't blame yourself. My wound aside, you look like you've seen something unpleasant. Is Hapasia all right? Hey, didn't I tell you not to move? Just in case. Let's go to Hapasia's place and talk about things there. She's fine. Hey, how about taking care of yourself first? I understand my condition. Ugh. The wound is not fatal. I'll be all right. Ugh. The more you understand medicine, the worse of a patient you become. I know. They always think they can push through the pain. Ugh. Oh, he sat down. Let me rest for a bit. Sorry, Traveler. Now you may start. So that's what you were talking to the Balladeer about? Oh, Paimon can't believe what he's thinking! <sighs> the Academia's... God creation plan. <sighs> How ridiculous. That sounds... uh... ambitious, I guess? Anyway, this is all way beyond me. As long as I can enjoy every day with a drink in my hand, tasty food in my stomach, and a good night's rest, that's enough. I'll only work when I have to. <laughs> I must be the least ambitious person who's ever set foot in Party DI. Don't say that. I haven't even thanked you for your help back there. Don't mention it. Well, if nothing else, all this proves that the doctor really did have some urgent matter to attend to, and left Sumeru in a hurry. Hmm, maybe the Fatui want to cover up some secret of the Balladeer. Is that why they tried to seize Hapasia? You said the Balladeer claimed that Hapasia has seen his past. So, what could be there? Have you noticed? The Balladeer is not happy with the doctor's actions. He thinks the doctor has no right to consider himself as his equal. So, if the doctor was to show up again, would the Balladeer zap him with lightning? Based on what the Traveler has said, I think he would. Having the doctor gone benefits him as well as us. In other words, we've successfully completed the stage of the plan. The doctor is out of the picture now. Yay! That's a big accomplishment! <sighs> I'm also happy for you. Thank you for the help, Tainari. Make sure you rest up for now. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, that wraps things up for us here at Party's DI. Traveler, it's about time we rendezvous with the others at the Grand Bazaar. Let's continue to keep a low profile. You can head there once you're ready. Mm-hmm. <sighs> 